Good morning. Hello, Facebook. Good morning and happy Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful week this week. I had to come outside again because it's just such a beautiful day and I enjoy being outside and winter's coming, so we better take advantage of it now. So welcome to all of those who are joining me live. Thanks for being here with me this morning. And for those of you who are watching on replay, make sure that you type in the comments replay. So one, I know you watched, and then two, I can come back and say hi to you. So my name is Tiffany Huckelman. I am the founder of Lone Orange, and we help solopreneurs be able to create and grow, scale the business that they love. And we do that in the several different ways. We have an agency side that actually can, can um, create branding for you, all of your branding needs, from your logo to your website to your copy, all of that kind of fun stuff. But we can, we also, and, and the part that I get most excited about personally is brand coaching and helping solopreneurs figure out what their brand is and how they can scale that to the next level. Because I believe that solopreneurs have a very unique purpose in this world. And if you've decided to go into business for yourself, you already are a unique person, but you have something to offer the world that the world needs. That there are clients out there who need your work and I wanna help you get it out there to them. I want to help you grow that business so you can impact more and more people. Now I am actually getting ready to launch a group coaching program, which I'm super excited about. It'll probably be late September, early October. If you want to be on that waiting list to make sure that you get all the information, please DM me so that I can get you on the list. But that's actually not what I'm here to talk about today. I want to talk about so the other day my son came home and he had been he's been going to a boot camp at a local gym just to do something and he came home and he ran into my office and he said mom 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 i leg pressed 405 pounds what and i looked at him and he's like what are you talking about now he's nine and he's very athletic and he's naturally strong but 405 pounds i thought you're crazy no way did that happen so a little bit later, my husband walks in and I said, he just said that he bench pressed 405 pounds. Lo and behold, he did. And here's the story. So the day before he was at the gym and he, he saw the leg press machine. You know, in, the leg press machine is one where you get on and you're, you sit with your feet up and you push a plate. Actually, I guess this one, you push the plate and the, the bench that you're sitting on goes up and you but you can dial in the weight that they're that you're pushing which is pretty amazing so he sat down the very first day and you know turned it on 50 pounds he was just kind of playing around kind of put his feet up sat in the chair did what he thought would be the right thing 50 pounds easy 100 pounds easy 125 pounds easy he got all the way up to 210 pounds that one I had a hard time believing too, but there was a video and in the video, like I could see him just determined, but his face was turning red at 210 pounds. He was pushing hard and he struggled to get there and he, he pretty much got it, but maybe not quite far enough. But wow, that was amazing in and of itself. The next day he went back and this time the trainer showed him how to get on and use the, the, the equipment, the machine properly. He, she showed him where to put his feet. She showed him where to put his arms. She showed him how to sit in the bench properly. And with that, he, again, he started at probably about 200. Push, 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 push. Actually, it's pretty easy today. Interesting. 250, 300, 350, 400, 405. And this nine-year-old kid could, could leg press 405 pounds. Luckily, again, there was a video for that. And this time, for some reason, it was so much easier for him. Like his, his face, even at 400, twice the amount. His face wasn't all red. He wasn't struggling as much. So I finally, I looked at my husband. I was like, what was the difference? Like, he didn't eat Wheaties that morning. Like, what was the difference? He didn't obviously gain a ton of strength in one day. He, you know, he hadn't been practicing or anything. And the, here's what he said. He said the day before, 
my son just got on the machine and kind of did his thing. The trainer kind of talked him through a little bit, but the next day, the trainer, trainer coached him on exactly where to put his feet and his hands and how to sit and how to use the machine properly. And that made all the difference. That may, meant that he got double his results exponentially in 24 hours. Like that was amazing that he made that kind of progress. So, okay, so how, Tiffany, does this relate to my business? Well, it's the same for us. Maybe we're not talking about weightlifting, but we are talking about our businesses. And I remember when I started my business, and I started my business in the first year, I did it all on my own. I was super excited about what I was doing. I did it all on my own. I didn't, at that point, didn't think that I had money to pay anybody to help me. So I was just kind of working it out, listening to a lot of the free stuff, all the webinars and all the, the podcasts that I could get my hands on. And that was all great. And I did really well in that first year. I was about to capacity of what I could even handle, the clients I could handle. I was doing really well, but it became very clear very quickly that there was something, there, there was more that I could do, but I didn't know how to get there. I, I had done as much as I could on my own. I couldn't get the next step by myself. So that is the first time that I decided to hire a business coach. And I haven't been without a coach since. In fact, sometimes I have multiple coaches. Right now I have multiple coaches because I, what that gave me the opportunity to do is see in my business the areas that, sure, I can figure it out on my own. I have no doubt that I would be able to figure it out on my own, but it's going to take a lot longer. So it gave me the opportunity to figure out in my business what I needed help with. Where were my weaker points? Where were those gaps that I didn't quite know how to, um, how to, to get to? And I found the right coach to help me kick it up, help me accelerate that growth, help me to get there faster, help me to learn from their mistakes and, and learn from their knowledge and wisdom, get me there faster. And so that investment into those coaches proved invaluable to me and the growth of my business. And I have grown exponentially over time because of those coaches. Just like with my son and the 405 pound leg press. <laughs> it's the exact same thing for us in our business. So what are the areas in your business that you know you could figure out on your own? And most solopreneurs kind of have a good, good old DIY mindset. I'm just going to do it, do it myself, bootstrap it, keep it going. I get that. I don't believe me. I'm there. I have been there. I still am there to some level that I just figure out that I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out on my own. What areas in your business do you feel like you do have some gaps that maybe if you had a little help, you could get there faster? quicker, with less headaches, um, with, with fewer mistakes. Who else can you be listening to? Who else can you be um, uh, working with, hiring to help you grow your business faster so that you can reach more of those people that you are meant to reach in a much more timely fashion? They'll find you eventually, but how can you reach them faster? That's pretty important. So I encourage you to think about your business, especially if you've never hired a coach before. If, or if you have hired a coach, um, hopefully you have a, had had a wonderful experience and got a lot of great things out of it. But look at your business today and figure out what are those areas where you could save yourself a lot of time and a lot of headache and a lot of stress by bringing somebody into your business to help you grow faster so that your impact can happen faster. There are a gazillion coaches out there, and for every need, there are a bazillion coaches. I, I would highly encourage you to find the coach that you feel really resonates with you, and find the coach that you feel like answers your needs, and answers, kind of anticipates what it is that you're thinking in your own head, because those are the people that really get you. Don't get bamboozled by all the glitz and the glam of, of big names. Those are, those are great, but 
don't get blinded by that. Make sure you find the, make sure you figure out what it is that you think that you need and then you find the coach that can answer that and can get you to the next level faster with less stress and with fewer headaches. And I would love to talk to you, if you feel like you're having struggle in the area of say identity and messaging and systems and your client experience, to me, those are the foundational things. And that's why I've put together the Scale Your Brand Method because those take all, it takes all the foundational things that to me, a business needs to have in order to grow. I'm not gonna say before you can before you can even grow, but in order to grow and grow strongly, like you've gotta have the foundation of a strong identity, a strong culture, strong messaging, and how you're gonna reach people a strong, strong client experience and how you serve your client experience. And now the systems in place so that you are saving yourself time and money and stress and that you can start growing a team when you're ready. All of those things form that foundation. And so if you are looking for support in that area, if, that, if you feel like that's a gap that you need to kind of tuck point a little bit um, to, to make sure your foundation is super strong so that you can launch it to the moon, then DM me. Let's have a conversation. Let's just talk and see where you're at with your business. And if I can help you, I will certainly let you know how. And if not, I will help you find the right person who can. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm starting up a group coaching program uh, probably in the, the end of September, kind of after school gets a little settled. And I would love, love, love to have you in that group if you're interested. So DM me, get on that list so that as soon as I have all the details, I can let you know what's what that is all about. And until, that's all I've got for you today. So until next Thursday, thank you all for joining me live and hello. Okay, so now, now of course, I'm seeing the people who are live. So Matt, hello, Sarah, good to see you here. Linda, hello, how are you? Melissa, good to see you here. And Rebecca, Becky, <laughs> thanks for joining me this morning. And it, it's certainly, if you're watching this again um, on replay, make sure you type replay in the, the, the comments so I can come back and say hi. And if you've got any questions, if you've got, if any of this is bringing up stuff for you, if you've got questions and you want to either DM me or just put it in the comments, uh, put it in the comments below. I'd love to be able to answer those questions in future lives. So I hope you have a fantabulous day and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.